today we discuss about relation between duty and delta for that let us consider delta is the total depth of water supply in meters d is the duty of this crop in hectares per cubic b is the base period of this crop in days by definition of duty volume of water applied to irrigate d hectares of land for 1 second equal to 1 meter cube for 1 second the volume of water required equal to 1 meter cube then what is the volume of water required per day the volume of water applied for 1 day equal to 1 into 60 seconds into 60 minutes into 24 hours so this is totally 86400 cubic meters this is for one day 86400 cubic meter then how much of volume of water required for irrigating d hectares in b days the volume of water applied for b days let us consider v that is equal to 86400 into b meter cube this is the total volume of water required to irrigate the land in b days let us consider capital a is the land area to be irrigated then land area irrigated equal to d hectares that is equal to d into 10 to the power of 4 square meter since 1 hectare equal to 10 to the power of 4 square meter that is equal to 10,000 into d square meters now the depth of water applied on this land delta that is equal to volume of water applied divided by area of land to be irrigated that is equal to 86400 into b divided by 10000 d by solving this we can get delta it equal to 8.64 b by d this is the required relationship between delta b and d where b in days delta in meters and d in hectares per cubic let us consider one example problem find the delta for a crop when its duty is 864 hectares per cubic on the field the base period of this crop is 120 days for this problem the solution is first you write down whatever the given data given data d equal to 864 hectares per cubic b equal to 120 days then what is delta we know the relation between delta b and d delta equal to 8.64 b by d substituting the values of b and d in this equation 8.64 into 120 divided by 864 by solving this we can get delta equal to 1.20 meters generally the delta value we represent in terms of centimeter if we convert this meters into centimeter then delta becomes 120 centimeter so the delta equal to 120 centimeters 